of a primal entity. <laughs> so we must assume that Ilbert's thrice damned god is indeed trapped within. And what news of the Imperials? They're not like to ignore such a spectacle. Yes, sir. A Guardian airship was observed making an approach, but the vessel was destroyed when it drew near. The Empire appears to have made no subsequent attempts to reach the object. The soldiers who witnessed the incident spoke of a lance of light issuing from within the cocoon. Of an entire warship being reduced to smoking ruin in the space of a moment. Veterans of Cardinal, meanwhile, likened the destruction to that wrought by the fiery wrath of Bahamut. We could face another calamity. So the Primal is awake then? Contained, yes, but for how long? We must destroy it now, lest it break free. Agreed. There is, however, the small matter of how to get close enough to a being that swats warships from the sky as you would a bothersome gnat. Is this truly so complex a puzzle? Or have you no stomach for the obvious solution? What in the hells are you doing here? A pleasure to see you too, Garland. Now, if you'd be so kind as to explain to these good people why you should be begging me for my assistance, that would be most appreciated. this man. Oh, how terrifically rude of me. Nero Tolskeva, former Tribunus of the 14th Legion of the Garlian Empire. These days, however, one might say that I'm something of a free agent. What do you want, Nero? I was getting to that. Although you already know what I'm about to propose, old friend. As you have rather belatedly realized, within that frail binding lurks an entity alike in strength to the great Bahamut, and the only force in existence which might conceivably contend with such a foe is the very creation which captured the Elder Primal in the first place. I speak, of course, of Omega. Omega? That Hulk has been gathering dust beneath the plains of Cartanau since the Allegans breathed the last. And none alive knows how to wake it. I'm sorry. Do you understand who it is with whom you have the privilege of speaking? I'm Nero Tolskeva, Master Engineer. The mechanical genius who restored the Ultima weapon to full operational capacity. And as luck would have it, I am graciously offering you the use of my considerable expertise. And what, you just expect us to accept? Why would we trust the word of a man who furnished the Black Wolf with the means to subjugate Eorzea? Trust? You wound me, Garland. All those years studying side by side at the Academy, sharing both trial and triumph, we were countrymen once, you and I. But sentiment aside, have you a better solution? Or do you mean to send in your vaunted hero there, as you always do, and pray the world is not engulfed in flame? Let us approach the problem in a rational manner. 
Does not the fact that Omega slumbers in stasis point to the existence of some overriding technology? A means of control? I would ask a question, if I may. Nero, was it not? In the event that we succeeded in using Omega to shackle the Primal in the manner you propose, what then would become of it? Do we not risk repeating the mistakes of the Alagans? Omega is but a tool. How we choose to employ that tool is entirely up to us. Of course, if you would rather leave it buried beneath Cartano while you continue your petty squabbles above, then I suppose that is also your choice. Spare us, Nero. The Seed Seer's concern is a valid one. He who controls Omega wields the power of the gods, the very power which led the Alagans to destroy themselves. And does it not fall to we engineers to prevent such misuse? What was your company's proud slogan? Freedom through technology? <laughs> A creed you follow, is it? <sighs> what say you? Do we take this villain at his word? He makes me grind my teeth, is what he does. But I suppose I don't have much of a choice. Would the Council be willing to entrust this matter to a pair of former Imperials? Yes. The task of restoring the Alagan relic will be yours. But the responsibility for its reawakening must remain with the Council. Do we condone this course of action? Aye. It would seem we do. Let the record show that we invest this contingent with the authority to enter Cartanau and take command of Omega. Sid, I appoint you leader of the expedition. Science, I would ask that you assign some few of your number to escort Master Garland and supervise the other one. We should be happy to oblige. The politics of Cartano being what they are, I dare say our neutrality will prove useful in avoiding any unnecessary entanglements. If I am not mistaken, Doma occupies a similarly neutral position. Might we not persuade you to join the expedition, Lady Yugiri? If you suspected any foul play from Nero, you would be welcome to kill him. My blade is yours. Not a moment's hesitation, eh? You'll forgive me if I do not shake your hand. <laughs> 